one final player we want to get to before we get out of here. And I know people don't want to play injury scare, but there's some players that are always injured. Even if they take one year off from always being injured, let's not forget. And that's Sammy Watkins. There's a lot of fantasy players that have been burned over and over and over again by Sammy Watkins. But for whatever reason, maybe it's because he's still so young and he's so talented, they just keep buying back in and buying back in and buying back in. There's plenty of fantasy experts that believe that Sammy Watkins is the better buy right now than Tyreek Hill. They look at Patrick Mahomes and Kareem Hunt and Hill and Kelsey, and they see all of these weapons like, wow, Watkins is going to go off. I just named a whole lot more weapons that are going to get theirs in KC. Hill and Hunt have been there. Watkins is the new guy on the block. Kelsey's been there. Is there enough targets to go around to justify where Sammy Watkins is going in drafts right now? Yeah, so he's currently going in the fifth, sixth round range, and I, I think you do have to worry about that. And I think it could be said for anybody in this Chiefs offense, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, both going inside the top three rounds of fantasy drafts right now, Greg. And I just don't really know how all the targets are going to be spread out. Last year, what Tyreek Hill did was absolutely phenomenal. He did all that on less than 110 targets. So Travis Kelsey, does he get his you know 110 to 120 targets once again, with Sammy Watkins now in the mix, I do have my concerns. I could see a situation where all three of these guys kind of take away from each other, and we see inconsistency. One week it's Watkins, one week it's Tyreek Hill, maybe one week it's Travis Kelsey. So I worry about some of those inconsistencies. And if you've noticed, Greg, there's been a slight theme here with some of these wide receivers being drafted early in the NFL draft. Corey Davis, Amari Cooper. The thing is, we just fall in love with this pedigree where these guys are drafted. Even if they haven't done it before or they've only flashed it once before, people will always want to buy in on that pedigree because they still think they have uh, something that we haven't seen yet before. And that's why Sammy Watkins is still going where he's going in drafts right now.